I've uncovered an insane AI automatic video editor that has saved me hundreds of hours on my video editing projects. And the best part is that this video editor works for creating voiceover animated style videos, talking head style videos, tutorial style videos, and even multi-cam podcast style videos. And guys, just think of all the different things that you could be doing growing your YouTube channel if you didn't have to spend countless hours cutting and editing video. And guys, the software that I'm talking about today is called Time Bolt. And it has tons of awesome little features for fine tuning, cutting, and editing your videos from start to finish. And you even get a ton of export options so that you could bring it into your favorite video editing software to add the finishing touches and take your videos to the next level. So with that, let's actually dive into the software and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so now with Time Bolt opened up, we're actually gonna bring our video file in. So I'm just gonna grab it here and I'm gonna drop it right in and let Time Bolt start doing its thing. You'll see that it has already pulled my video in and you will notice in the timeline here you'll see some green and red parts and what this is this is actually time bolt taking this cutting out all the dead air and leaving only the parts where I'm actually talking so if I just scroll to the right here a little bit you'll see that all throughout my video it's made some very nice clean cuts right at the edge of all the different parts of my audio now the other thing I want to show you is that this was actually a 16 minute 55 second video and time bolt has actually cut Cut out six minutes and 55 seconds already which is leaving the output file of nine minutes and 59 seconds so it has cut almost seven minutes of dead air out of this that if i done that in my video editor such as davinci resolve that would have been me actually coming in here clicking on this deleting these parts and doing this throughout my entire video now obviously i could do some things with some shortcut keys to make this a little bit faster but nonetheless this would have probably taken me at least an hour to do if i was manually go through and do all these cuts and some of the things I'm going to show you further within this video that you can do with time bolt you'll see even how much more time it's going to save by letting the AI do its work so enough with this let's get back into time bolt and guys the beautiful thing about this is not only is that less cutting that I have to do but it's also so much less time that I have to spend listening to the same exact content over and over and over as I edit now if we scroll down here to the settings you'll notice that there's so much that you can change here now the beautiful thing is that they have really dialed in time bolt to really work out of the box you know for if you look across my file here you'll see just by looking at the audio that time bolt has done a great job removing the dead air but keeping the parts where my voice is actually talking and you can really fine-tune these settings they give you a lot of different settings to play with you know for example if you don't have the greatest audio quality it's going to help you fix that up and allow you to adjust these settings to account for that you know as an example I like my cuts to be really really tight so on the left panel Padding, which is the left side of your audio file I leave this at 0 0.01 because I want the cuts to be really really tight and on the right hand side this padding setting really comes into play if you tend to trail off the end of your sentences and get a little quieter at the end of your sentences you can expand this out and it will actually add some time to the right hand side of each one of your audio files to make sure little pieces don't get cut off you know for example if it didn't pick up this little piece right here on this audio file because it was too quiet and under the threshold by adjusting this right hand padding I can get it to extend out a little further to capture little pieces like that. And they have a lot of other features down here. You know, if you want to add background music and some of your rendering options, which we'll get into here in a little bit later. So let's actually scroll back up to our video here and start editing. But before we do, another massive time saver that I want to show you guys is right here in this preview playback rate because I can actually play this back and edit at a 1.5 speed. Now that doesn't mean when I export it, it's going to play it fast and sound robotic. It's just while I'm editing, I can go through this a lot faster. So what I'll do here is I'll hit play and you can actually see how this works in real time. Literally right now is the time to start creating and selling your own digital products. Guys, I've been teaching people how to sell digital products for years and I can tell you that with absolute no doubt, now is one of the easiest times to not only start creating your own digital products, but to start selling them as well. And what you can see, guys, as it goes through this, is it's actually cutting out the dead air in real time and skipping that so as you edit it, you can see that it's making those cuts. And now I can go in and fine tune some of these things. So like, for example, on the end of this one, if I play it right here, your own digital products. Guys, I've been teaching. You'll see that I start to turn away from the camera and it actually picked up a noise from me hitting the desk. So all I have to do is click here where I want to split it. So I'll left click. Let's, uh, let's try it right here. And I'm going to hit S on the keyboard, which is a keyboard shortcut to cut. And you'll see that it made this slice right here. Now, if I undo that real quick, I can show you that if you don't want to use the keyboard shortcut of S, you can actually click right here to create the same thing. So I'll click that and it creates that cut. And now this top bar, 
bar is where a lot of the magic happens because now if I want to turn this section off to red, all I have to do is click right here and now it'll turn that off. So if I come back here and I play this audio clip, now this is what you will hear. Right now is the time to start creating and selling your own digital products. Guys, I've been teaching people how to sell digital products. You'll see it, clean that up just like that. Products for years and I can tell you that with absolute... And if I wanted to, like for example, I could clean this up, make this a little tighter, click right here, boom, hit S, make that cut, turn this red. And and I can play. tell you that with absolute no doubt, now is one of the easiest times to not only start creating your own digital products, but to start selling. Boom, got a little air there, click that, turn that off. But to start selling them as well because the environment that we live in today. Tools like ChatGPT have made it so much easier to come up with great ideas. And as you can see guys, it has already done an amazing job cutting this video up. And all I gotta do is listen through it in the 1.5 speed and make some fine tuning. Now the other cool thing is one of the things I used to go back to do of all my videos is go in and add a bunch of zoom effects as I make the cut. So you've probably seen creators when they're making cuts in their videos, they'll zoom in or zoom out to give it that, that look on those cuts so it doesn't look so harsh, right? It makes it look like it's almost a new scene or a new it makes it look like it's a new scene. And we can actually accomplish that and do all of that with inside of Time Bolt. So for example, if I play this section right here, tools like ChatGPT have made it so much easier to come up with great. You can see the cut in there. Now I got this area here selected for this area of the audio. I'm actually gonna hit P on the keyboard. And what you'll see that does is it adds a little zoom effect. So you'll see it says center 125%. So check this out. If I go back here and now I play it, I want you to watch what happens. Tools like ChatGPT have made it so much easier to come up with great ideas and actually help you create You'll see the it content. zoomed back out for that second section. So if I wanted to, I can actually add those at every cut and I could change those up however I wanted. So for example, if I hit P twice while I got this one selected, you'll see that it really zooms in, right? And you can keep going in and set it how you want. So I'll put it right there. So now if I play it. Tools like ChatGPT have made it so much easier to come up with great ideas and actually help you create the content for your digital products and the content that helps you sell your digital products. And you can see right there, guys, it automatically added those zoom cuts that takes a lot of time in most video editors because in most video editors, you're doing that with keyframes. You're setting a keyframe at the start of your zoom and at the end of your zoom, and then you're changing the speeds and how much you want it to zoom in and all that kind of stuff. And it takes a lot of time. And with just a couple clicks of the P key on my key, keyboard, I can get that effect and I'm doing it at 1.5 speed, which I love guys, because it's making the editing process so, so fast. Okay. And once I have this all set up and I'm loving the way I got this all cut up, I'm loving all the, the zoom punch-ins that I have. Now it's time to export this thing. And Time Bolt is going to give you a ton of options for exporting. You know, whether you want to export just the video file that you've cut up, or you want to export each one of the individual clips, or you can even export XML files or a different type of file that works with your video editor that will save all the cuts that you can adjust inside of your video editor. But before we export, I want to show you one more cool thing. They have this button right here called turbo mode. And the way you want to think of turbo mode is it's actually going to speed up how fast you talk in your video. But the cool thing is the AI is going to do a really, really good job of making sure that your voice isn't altered. So we all know that people's attention spans have dramatically decreased, especially with so much short form video that's out there. Well, with turbo mode, what we can do is actually speed up how fast in which we talk, but our voice still sounds natural, and we deliver the same content at a faster speed, which increases the retention on our videos because it keeps people stimulated as they go through the video. So if I click on this button, you can see what happens. Now you don't need to understand all of this, but what you need to understand understand is right here. And basically what this is saying is it's going to take your video and make it 12 and a half percent faster than what it currently is. And that 12 and a half percent is just fast enough to keep people interested, but not too fast to make it sound weird or rushed or anything like that. So all we have to do after hitting this turbo mode is come down here and add the render queue. And you'll see down here at the bottom, one render task is queued. And when I'm ready to render, I could press start rendering and it's going to export that video. And like I said before, there are some other render options. For example, if I want to click this three dot menu here, you can see I can export all the clips. So let's say that I wanted each one of the clips or the cuts that I made up here exported into individual clips. I can choose that option. If I just wanted to download an audio file, for example, I could choose this option. And another really cool feature that I want to show you is this download chapters text file. This is an extremely powerful feature. Now, if you watched my SEO video or my keyword research video, you heard me talk about how I create keyword rich chapters for my YouTube videos for SEO value. Well guys, this is another shortcut that Timebolt makes for you. So if I come back up here to our audio file, 
and you can really simplify that for your audience by creating a simple playbook and you can so let's say i wanted to make this section right here a chapter for my youtube video come to this section and i can press m on my keyboard now i can right click on this marker that i added to this and i can type in and save that just like that and now let's say further down on my video i'm just going to play it here so we can hear what it is for a second checklist for writing sales letter checklist for writing email right i can add a marker right here and guys i would actually be doing this as i'm editing the video so i'll go through here let's just do a couple more so you can see the export without having to come up with the entire campaign and all the ideas and guess what i was really good at I'm gonna put some examples here but there are so many different printable type things that you can create so m to create a marker right click and now I want to show you what happens when I export those markers. So I'll click the three dot menu, download chapters text file, click to open that text file up, open this up. And now what you will see guys is copy and paste chapters that I can paste right in my YouTube description, perfectly formatted with the timestamps exactly at the beginning of those clips where I put the markers. Super powerful, saves so, so much time. And guys, just like I told you earlier, when we added that to the render queue, all we got to do is come down here to start rendering, press start rendering. Now it's going to export this file to my computer with all the spaces removed, all those punch in zooms that we did, those chapter files that we marked, everything. So now I will have a nice exported file to bring into whatever video editor that I want to fine tune and add effects. And really at this point, we've probably cut off five to 10 hours of video editing time and we can focus on making our video better and making our videos awesome instead of spending so much time cutting and deleting dead space. You guys, if we come over here to time bolts pricing page just open that up you can actually see how cheap this software is for just $17 a month or $97 a year you can save so much time with your video editing and guys I'm not a sponsor of time bolt or an affiliate I just know that this program has saved me so so much time and provided so much value I wanted to share it with you